So I thought I've had a request um, to talk a little bit more about my approach to a trading journal. And so I'm going to show you a bit of insight into my private trading journals, my proprietary approach to this. And uh, so I like to use Excel. I like that because obviously I can I can create formulas to automatically calculate certain things. And um, I can also screen grab stuff. So very briefly, I've got the total number of trades. So this is from a series of trades I took last week. Uh, so these were posted into my private group. And uh, I can sort of see which ones are open and closed. So broadly speaking, there's a snapshot of the setup as to why I took it. Any concerns or comments that I might add, I will have higher time frames that I'll screen grab as well. And once the trade is closed out, I'll also keep a, a snapshot of what the final outcome of that is. Um, and so I'll keep obviously the dates of it, the time frame, uh, where's my entry stop loss, what's the purple point difference between them, uh, what's my risk per trade, uh, has it closed, did it hit my part, uh, partial profit, tech profit, uh, one to one, uh, what's the outcome, any other comments that I need to do. And then what I'll do is I'll add amber, red or green to tell me the state of the trade. So amber basically means the trade is closed in profit or break even, green means the trade is still open, and red means that that trade is now closed for a 1% loss. Okay, so that'll be a full loss. And uh, at the moment, you can see that they're either open or generally speaking, they've closed amber. So this is really, I mean, there were a whole lot of really good trade setups that occurred last week. And as it happened, they were all currencies. Okay, so it didn't take any commodity trades last week. I missed out on a couple. I missed out on oil going uh, going short. There was some there were some good ones and I, I didn't take them. I just, I saw the currency setups all pretty much on the same couple of days and took all of those. Um, and that isn't always the case. It's not often that that happens. And so I could see here at the top, for example, out of the ones I have currently at the the moment uh, I'm sitting at 3.23% in profit across the board. Um, no global indices, uh, it's just currencies at the moment, no commodities, uh, no equity trades this week, no bond trades. All right, and then I keep track of the number of trades I take. So, do I take a lot of trades? Am I taking a few trades? You know, what's the story there? Uh, and really, the idea ultimately with this, and I'm tweaking some of the formulas, but then I would output the performance from each individual tab across to uh, to a summary page. The summary page will then show me what my performance is on the different asset classes, and then pump that into a performance uh, spreadsheet that I can build up over time. Uh, so, for the moment, uh, I'm still tweaking that, so those numbers have not been updated yet, uh, and really just having a look at it here. So. Uh, this is pretty good. I'm very happy with the returns from this batch of trades. It's not bad for a few days worth of work to get 3.2%. I've got a couple that are open. Um, so they're either going to be at break even, perhaps there'll be a 1% loss. Um, there's one that uh, looks like it's got more than uh, a break even in it. It's got some other potential profit. So this number could actually go down. It could go up. Really, my only goal is 1% a week. So I'm very happy with where I am for the moment. I'm trying to keep it realistic. I don't always take this many setups, but they all look pretty good. I was pretty happy with them. And so that's kind of how the approach was that I took it. And then I've just obviously trailed my stop, making sure that basically that I can get my trade to break even as quickly as possible, because especially if I'm trading other people's money, uh, the goal here really is to make sure that getting that kind of trying to reduce the losses and getting trades to break even or profit. That's really my personal approach on those.